got to protect her. Yeah, you're saying. Massive injury. 14 weeks. 14 weeks. 3k. Is that Jockey? Yep. Oh, yes. It's Adrian, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, 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 good. Oh, yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen the yet. We just took it. We, we just drafted you. Took me? Yeah, about five seconds ago. Oh, you're talking to go, Do you know, mate? I'm coming for Essendon. Is that what you're coming? Yeah, well, you're playing for Essendon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, thank you so much. Mate, no, thank you. That's the only one. Tucker, how does yeah. that make you feel? Because this club's cold. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm really young. Um... Yeah, I wasn't expecting you to miss shots. Well, congratulations, mate. You deserve it. Oh, thank you so much, Adrian. No, we're excited, Adrian. Yeah, you know, the boys here have been telling me about you all day, and, um, yeah, we're wrapped. Yeah, you'll, you'll fit in great, mate, and uh, we'll give you every opportunity to play some brilliant footy, eh? Just come along and um, be yourself and have a go. Oh, mate, that's all I can ask for. Thank you so much. Yeah, mate. Nah, no worries at all. You, you've done all the hard work. We just uh, we, we get the benefit now. So yeah, can't wait to uh, meet you, mate, in the in the next short period of time, and um, we'll get you up and going. Thank you so much. No worries at all, mate. <laughs> Come you, on. Thank you. you just uh, yeah, yeah. You just give your family a hug now, mate. I will. Good work. Okay. Thank you so much. See you, mate. You got to take part in some match simulation today. How did you find it out there? Yeah, it was good out there. Um, a bit quicker than usual. So it was my first taste of AFL footy, I suppose. So that was pretty exciting. How did you think you handled the pace? Uh, yeah, I think I handled it fine. But, um, you know, sometimes I got caught a bit here and there. And I didn't know when to dispose of all. But that comes with getting experience. And uh, more, of those, more of these match players in the future will probably help more. So you were there on the wing for most of the game. Is that a place that you really prefer to play or you're just happy to go wherever you need to go? Yeah, well, I've played wing for a while now. Um, I've kind of got used to it, so it's a bit weird moving out of the wing. But look, I'm, I'm open to playing anywhere the coaches need me, but preferably wing. Now, you recently finished second in the two-lap challenge at the club. Is that really a good chance for you to show and prove yourself to your new teammates? Yeah, absolutely. So Paddy's been the king for a while now, so um, I think it'll be good for, for him to have someone to compete with. And no wonder he uh, got a PB as soon as he had someone to compete with. So hopefully I can get him once I get a bit stronger. Do you enjoy, enjoy that sort of competitive edge at the time? Oh, absolutely. It gives you a bit of an edge um, when you're running. So I think just being competitive just comes out of you. And it certainly did for Paddy and it did for me. So I'll be breaking the PB soon. And most fans certainly know about your athleticism. What do you think are some of the other strengths to your game that they might not know yet? Yeah, so athleticism is probably one of them. Um, just my versatility is probably one. And um, yeah, no, I don't mind flying up for getting the mark there, here and there, so it's always good fun. Now you spent a bit of time with a lot of former AFL players and current AFL players in your time at St Kevin's Old Boys and Collingwood VFL. How beneficial was that experience for you? Oh, it's absolutely beneficial. So they probably just told me, gave me a few good tips that have uh, helped me in good steps for the pre-season. So um, I think Steve Gillen has been quite vocal, just advised me how to handle a pre-season how important it is to get a lot of sleep and recovery. So that's been my number one factor and it's holding me in good set so far. 
And one of your former teammates at St Kevin's, Mark Jamer, has spent a bit of time here as well. Have you had any specific advice from him? Yeah, no, Jamer, it's, it's been good. He's always reminded me to back myself and um, he's very happy for me uh, about where I've gotten. And it's always good to see a familiar face around. And have any players here really taken you under their wing so far? Yeah, so Big Drapes has been um, looking after me in terms of the younger boys. So, you know, I've just been trying to learn as much as I can off everyone. Being in the midfield, we were asking a lot of questions here and there. So that's going to fast track my learning experience. And hopefully that's going to get me out on the field. And the season's really quickly approaching now. Do you have any specific goals set for yourself this year? Yeah, look, so um, I'm taking it one step at a time. You know, today was my first match play. I will get another one in a, in a week or so now. Um, build towards that and hopefully put my hand up for a JLT and hopefully for round one after that. But look, JLT is the first step. So I'll have my eyes on that right now. Great, well good luck with it and thanks very much for your time. No, thank you.